What's going on guys? GeoSnow right here. So in today's video we're going to discuss about downgrades, about iOS 10.3 and how to save the SHSH blobs because you really need to do that and I'm going to tell you why. Now uh, we're going to start about the iOS 10.3 because it's linked to the downgrading process and I'm going to start ahead with TeamStar's tweet uh, in which he says Quote, so yeah, downgrade to 10.2 by abusing nonce collisions, which means downgrading without jailbreak, in iOS 10.3 beta 1 works fine. Now we've been uh, we've been uh, thinking that iOS 10.2.1 killed the nonce collisions and 10.3 especially, 10.3 killed them at completely. So um, unfortunately it's not that. Well, fortunately, it's not that case. So, um, this means that you can still use the nonce collisions in order to try to downgrade from 10.3 beta 1 back to 10.2 and jailbreak. This is so damn good. Using, of course, Future Restore, an application created by Teamstar. We discussed about that application numerous times on the channel. You can find a link in the description down below with a playlist in which uh, I'm talking about iOS downgrades and Future Restore, of course, are the latest videos in the playlist. But let's start to talk about the iOS 10.3 and why you should save the iOS 10.2.1 blobs. Well, we discussed about saving 10.2.1 blobs uh, in my previous videos, but this time is something very important. See, Apple has changed in iOS 10.3 the format. Now, you can see that going here into the iPhone wiki, if I go back, I'm going to show you that on the beta portal, beta firmwares, there are the, um, the betas for iOS 10.3. And if you want to downgrade to 10.2 using the nonce collisions, first you need to install iOS uh, 10.3 beta. For example, you have an iPhone 5S or an iPhone 6 or, or 6S, I'm going to take 6S, and you want to go back to 10.2 in order to be able to downgrade. You need to install iOS 10.3 beta 1. Keep in mind this, uh, because Teamstar said something about beta 1. Now, you can install any of the betas, uh, uh, as long as the beta program is running for a specific version, you can install any of the betas. Once the beta uh, program ends and the final version is released, all the betas get unsigned. But during that period, you can install beta 1, beta 2, beta 3, you name it. So you need to install this beta, iOS 10.3 beta 1. You click here and download it with no problem. And uh, after that, you can try the nonce collisions method. The Teamstar already demoed it on the channel and I already, already made a video on that. So uh, you can check it out in the description down below. But why is it important to save the 10.2.1 blobs? See, iOS 10.3 changed the file system format from HFS Plus, which was the standard format for 30 years on Apple devices of the DMGs, to APFS, or Apple File System. We discussed about that on my other videos, and I already made a post on our Reddit, on our subreddit called iDevice Central, link in the description, in which I um, explained more about this new Apple File System format. Basically, it improves speed, it improves performance, it improves um, in encryption and it's made for SSDs, it's made for flash drives in general, because HFS Plus is a format that was created for floppy disks, for CDs, uh, we were talking about um, disk drives with physical platers inside that spin very slow, and so Apple uh, felt the, um, the requirement of a new format that is adapted for SSDs and for the era of the flash NAND drives. So yeah, this is basically the story behind APFS, but APFS has a crucial role in iOS 10.3 because it changes completely the game and also will change the downgrade, which is very important. So it would be extremely good for you to save your blobs now, and if you can, go ahead and try the nonce collisions and go back to 10.2 and jailbreak and remain jailbroken. iOS 10.3 might not be jailbroken very soon. Now, don't take my word for that, Take the word of the developers. Look at Tesco already said he is not going to continue with the jailbreak because of uh, the problems with the community being so whatever. And um, so we lost Look at Tesco in this jailbreak thing. About Pangu, we didn't hear anything about Pangu in months. Taiji, 
in years. So it's pretty shady and it's pretty dark, this uh, area of jailbreak. So go ahead right now while it's still possible up until uh, Apple will patch this thing. So how you get your SHSH2 blobs? Just to have them in case of anything. Well, it's pretty simple, you need TSS Checker. TSS Checker is another application developed by the same Teamstar and it's available right here, pre-compiled for both Windows and Mac and for Linux, if that's your thing. For some reason and um, you can download it from here tss checker latest.zip or you can download the project and compile it let me show you how you use it well it's pretty simple i already made videos on this but now the application has changed a little bit and it saves the app nonce generator which is crucial for downgrading from a jailbroken device using app nonce patch so um what you, you what you need to do a lot of people have problems when on a mac or on linux again if that's your thing uh, with the executables because they cannot be open. Let me show you the problem. When you get the pre-compiled executables uh, and you open them in terminal, they give this error from bash, permission denied. And the uh, easiest way to fix this is to ch mode it, to give it permissions. So ch mode. 775 should do it. There are a lot of numbers in the permissions catalog, but 775 should do it. And there you go. As you can see, it transformed in the terminal icon, and now I can simply drag it in here and it starts. It works. This is how you give yourself permissions to open that downloaded file, in case you had that problem. Now, I know this is not the most intuitive application, but unfortunately you cannot use Ticketbox for this. Ticketbox doesn't save the uh, nonce generator, and it's required. So, uh, how we save them then? Well, it's pretty simple, you need to call the app, you need to call with D, which is device model. Uh, the device I'm going to use is an iPod 7.1, which means iPod Touch 6th generation. You are going to, of course, type your device, iPod 7.1. Right. Then, uh, instead of the iOS version, I'm going to say L, because it's the latest. As iOS 10.2.1 is the latest version, iOS 10.3 uh, is in beta and it's not considered. And... Um, then we need to uh, specify where we want to save it and let me see what else we need to specify. Well, pretty much where to save and the ACID. Well, okay, E. And now we need to connect the device and get the ACID from, uh, from iTunes. Now, I'm not afraid if you see my ACID because this is a development device, not a personal one, so it's pretty much useless for me. Go ahead, test your powers. Anyways, I'm going to open iTunes. iTunes will probably take 330 years in order to start and detect the device. Oh, well, it only took 200. Anyways, we're going to click on Serial again and on UDID and then you'll get uh, ACID. As you can see, I'm on iOS 10.0.2, so you do not need to update to 10.2.1 or to 10.3 in order to get the, the bloops. You don't need to update. You don't even touch the device. You only get the ACID from it. Then it can be simply disconnected. And I'm going to paste the ACID in here. There we go. And I'm going to say S because we need to save them. Either way, they're useless. And we need a save path. So let's see how we can uh, specify a save path with double dashes, save path. And I'm going to create a new folder on a desktop because I like to be organized and I'm going to name it SHSH2. Right, and I'm going to drag the folder in here and hit the enter key. This is the entire command, pay attention. It will say downloading file, downloading build manifest, requesting URL, and there we go, it says iOS 10.2.1 14D27 is signed, saved SHSH blobs for device iPod 7.1. So this is basically it, we got the blobs. And now if you, if you go in here, you're going to see you have the blob. And I'm going to show you why it's so special with the latest version of TSS Checker. If you have previously saved blobs for other versions, it's okay to try them with nonce collision. But with the latest version, you can use them on the, um, uh, the uh, nonce uh, enabler patch, which requires a jailbroken device. I'm going to change this to plist, and I'm going to show you what it contains, right? Marvelous.
360 years later, the application has opened and you can see that it has the app EMG4 ticket, which is important, this server version, the update install um, version, and then the generator, which is something important, specific to the latest version of TSS Checker and required because you need to, when you when you're trying to downgrade using a jailbroken device, you need to set this nonce into the NVRAM of the device. I have a video for that for preparing to, to downgrade. You don't need to set this if you want to use the nonce collisions, but you need to do this with the uh, jailbroken version with nonce enabler. So this is basically it. Do not forget if you do the same as I did in order to verify your blob, make sure you make it back SHSH2 as this is the format required. So this is basically it guys, I really hope you understood this video, I really hope you will save your blobs now and uh, go ahead and try to downgrade back to 10.2, you might have a chance as iOS 10.3 generates collisions again. So this is it, I'm Joe Snow, till the next time subscribe to stay updated, give this video a thumb up and peace out.